Alright guys, we're going. Took a little more time than I expected. But I did uh, upgrade some of my possessed weapons. My uh, special ones that I got from DLC. And promotions. Like uh, Vanished Match Mash and Mace Maximus. Mace Maximus is not maxed. Uh, Vanished Match is on its way. And I have something else I need to work, work on too, but I can't think of what it's called. <laughs> Let's uh, activate this gate out of the way. All right, throw me over it. Hey buddy, let's go. That's the famous move. Just clearing out the uh, corruption as I can. Smash. Once I saw all this, I'd try to fi probably try and find another stone. This doesn't look very, uh, good. Just out of reach. Might need this. Yep. Now, what I love is I, when I heard Dark Souls 2 was coming out and it involved death, I did a hell of a lot of research. And I looked into um, trailers, concept built concepts, and whatnot. And this specific area was one of the concepts, uh, dungeons they had on display for uh, death's interaction. Death's interaction with the environment. So it was pretty wicked. There's something wrong with this one. Well, yeah, it's glowing with corruption. Damage. 
You know what those little fuckers had trouble fighting this guy? He's tough. I might use that. After you. Right. Last stone. Seeing its work, Horseman. Corruption fair weeps from it. The other two heartstones were pure. I'm wagering that their radiance will cleanse the third. Mayhaps. Khan, the greater risk is to do nothing. Hey. There's no way to actually cl cleanse that stone before using it. Well, if that's the case, we won't have this epic fight coming up. So, yeah. Oh, the giant hammer's gone. That can't be a good sign. By the uh, shaman and get some potions. Jump, jump. Oh, the jump. There we go. I didn't save a guy. Wake nope. up, little one. There is work to do. Thanks.
The darkness has risen all around us. What was old is new again. Bees. It is not to be. Thank you. Alright, let's go and uh, do this. Tree down there is destroyed. I like that tree. That was just engulfed in flames. <laughs> oh, is difficult to get my red crotch back up. I wish I had my other abilities. Make it a lot faster. It's not gonna be of any use during the actual fight, but I want it. It's nice to be able to see the Reaper form gauge full up there. Let's do this. <clears throat> this it loads. Beyond my help, horseman. Do your worst. Actually, this was the uh, monster in the trophy that uh, the trailer that dropped uh, death's abilities. Remember, serves. Which makes me glad that has the first big epic boss fight. Love, love, love. 
land battles. That's my favorite way death killed now. It's just awesome. You had no choice but to destroy him, horseman. Yet if the path to the Tree of Life is to be cleared, I have no choice but to bring him back. How many times would you have me kill him? The Guardian will be as a newborn, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. You won't survive this! I am a maker! That task defines my very purpose! As the reaping of souls defines your own, there is no escaping it! <sighs> Get to the tree now, horseman. Your journey is far from over.
Well, damn. I just starting to wonder what happens to the to him. I forgot. Anonymous has given you cool. Impossible. I know what that is. All right, let's continue. There are still a few other things we can do in the Forge Lands, but I'll do, I'm gonna do those later. I'm actually gonna unequip my uh, armor for a cosmetic cutscene coming up. Put that on. That's what the cosmetic for our upcoming cutscene. Alright, we're finally at the tree. Uh, Yggdrasil. Or Tree of Life, either or. Both are correct terms. Except for Yggdrasil, it's never called that in this game. But it certainly fits the myth. This is no place for a horse. survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us, slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet. Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb. And even death himself will not escape it! Well, damn! See what I meant by the cosmetic of that cutscene? Looks a little cooler, in my opinion. What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother, his comrades, and Absalom. Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The Eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. <laughs> we got corruption. And crowned 
Falcon Kinslayer. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the Dead Kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the Tree of Life, I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the Tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the Tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant's skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rolled though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more. The Well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first. Nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balances life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life, and in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my words. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim. Became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree. Yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten? No. The Nephilim live on in you. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> what if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. <laughs> Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There the Lord of Bones slumbers. 
he will guide you to the well. Or he will have your soul. Before you go, horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. You may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Alright, so we are now in the Deathlands. This will be the beginning of the next set. <sighs> and we all have to collect relics of the, this Mer Elstagoth's uh, realm. Should be interesting. So, this is going to be kind of fun. <laughs> Since this is the Death Realm, I don't have an armor that match a set that matches the theme of this world. I'm just gonna go with what I find. So, awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. I shall see you guys in set five, I believe it is, where we start working on this massive realm of death. See you guys then. Bye. Hello, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you'd like to show your support, feel free to leave a like or a comment. And if you really want to show your support, just go to our Facebook channel or our Twitter and like and follow us. Thank you again for watching the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next set. Bye!